The Deputy Prime Minister yesterday in advance of, of the votes being cast said essentially that, that the, the Canadians in that riding had a choice between the Liberals and the alternative, which she characterized as cold, cruel and small. Why would your government label opponents of it like that? Well, I'm, I'm not going to speak uh, for the Deputy Prime Minister, but, you know, what I can say is that I think there is a a very stark difference between um, the vision that our government is putting forward for Canada and that of the Conservatives. And I think our government has been very clear and, you know, have, have won three elections on being ambitious uh, and proud of Canada and, you know, wanting to uh, do, you know, new programs and support Canadians um, and really deliver for them. And I, and we have, you know, good results um, to show for it. Um, whereas, you know, Mr. Polyev and the Conservatives are putting forward a vision that is less ambitious. It's one that is um, less generous when it comes to supporting Canadians and one um, that I don't think has the same kind of, um, you know, um, support for the future of our country. So there are two different visions um, that are being put forward that Canadians can, can choose from and, and will choose from uh, in the upcoming election. I think it's really important that, um, you know, we continue to demonstrate to Canadians that, you know, their uh, well-being economically, socially, physically, you know, is our priority and that we are there to continue to serve them. I think we continue to have big, bold ideas um, that are going to deliver for Canadians. But part of our job is to make sure that we are hearing what those priorities are for Canadians and reflecting that as a government. And so, you know, yesterday's results gives us pause to think about, you know, are we, um, are we listening, engaging and communicating in a way that is responding to the needs of Canadians? Maybe it's some of those things, maybe it's not all of those things, but it's certainly a moment for us as Liberals, as Liberal members of Parliament, as Liberal government to reflect and think about how we move forward and where and what we need to change. Can you understand how Canadians might find that disingenuous? Yesterday, your government is, is calling people who supported somebody else cold, cruel and small. And today you want to engage and listen to them. Do you understand how that might fall on uh, deaf ears? So, you know, I have always been very clear about the fact that we need to engage with all Canadians. I mean, the the fact of the matter is, and you can go back to 2015 uh, when the prime minister was very clear that, you know, just because you vote for somebody else doesn't mean that you don't have the best interests of Canada in mind. I mean, you, then why is your party calling them cold, I mean, cruel and small? So, but this is where I think it's important for us to reflect on some of those lessons and to make sure that, you know, we're 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 being true to who we are as liberals, which I really believe is um, engaging and listening to Canadians to always, um, you know, seeing Canadians in a positive light. Um, you know, that may mean that they vote for other folks that may might they vote for us. But at the end of the day, um, and one of the things that I've always admired about the Prime Minister is his trust in Canadians. And I have tremendous trust in Canadians um, to make, you know, the, the best decision. And, you know, at the end of the day, would I have liked to see a different result in Toronto St. Paul's? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would have preferred for that have to remain liberal. Um, but this is a message for us. And it's now our job to listen to it and to change our behavior accordingly. So just to be clear, you don't believe people who voted for the Conservatives in this election are cold, cruel or small? No, I, I do not believe that. I believe that Canadians make decisions based on, you know, the best information that they have. And I genuinely believe that um, every Canadian is making a decision because they believe that they're doing it in the best interests of Canada. They just have a different idea of how to get there. Minister, I'll leave it on that note. I do appreciate you making the time for the conversation. Thank you so much.